a person convinced against their will, even when they're doing it, is still that person. So even if you don't want to do something and somebody convinced you and you're doing it now, it means you still have the same outlook that you had before. And I can most definitely attest to this one, without a doubt. I can attest. You are still the same person. You still have the same belief, even if you're doing it. There will be instances where these things are needed for foundation, but in some cases they're not and you are just at plan B and refuse to focus on plan A. So I definitely understand this one. But more importantly, and I think this is going to be my last point, what I've learned is that my well-being comes before everything. School, people, everything. Money, time, everything. I thought I understood what it meant, but I did not until a few months ago when I really had an eye-opener, a few eye-openers to understand that. If something happens to me mentally, I might not be able to get back the mental health or the level of mental growth that you are at now. I believe that a lot of persons, oh yes, I'm a mental health advocate, you're not a mental health advocate because once somebody only starts to do something for their mental health, sometimes you're the first person to start to try to degrade them and say, why well, yeah, do that in a minute sense? You have to be very strong in your mind to understand that there are some things that even if it's meaningful to others, you know how much it will cost you. As I said before, there are sacrifices that you have to make, but sacrifices that you find easier, meaningful, I'm going to say unillegal because sometimes we do things and the consequences are there. So if it doesn't come with a negative consequence, then go for it. It is your mental health and only you know what you're able to withstand. And once you go mentally, those same person that you're living to please, you're sick. You're not going to see none of them because none of them have no business with you because the first thing they'll say is that you're mad. Even if you get treatment from the mental illness that you have, you know, I say acquired, but let's say acquired. People will always view you as that person that you lashed out as once. You always notice you do 100 good and the one time you do something bad, people always remember the bad and the 1000 good really nobody remembers and that's life. So choose your mental health over something. If you feel like you need to take a break, you take a break and you recuperate and you come back. Sometimes we are going at 100 and when we take those breaks that we are afraid to take, uh, 2000 will come back and push 2000 you have to understand that your level of strength and my level of strength are different what you are able to withstand and what i'm able to withstand mentally are two different things we might be the same age or going to the same situation or something similar but we think differently we perceive things differently we handle things differently so if it is costing you your mental health and it cannot be adjusted fixed or worked on worked on adjusted leave is that said done done don't it takes time it takes acceptance that some things will never change and it takes acknowledging that there is better out there for you and that's just a part of it your mental health comes first it's one of those things you lose money you lose time you don't ever get it back you might can do something tomorrow we never do today it's a waste of the time but once you go mentally it makes you think different and I don't mean mad I mean once you start to view things in a light that you've never before mentally you'll always kind of think different from everybody else I think comparison plays on comparison people pleasing unable to forgive ourselves for a past childhood trauma plays a big role on our mental health and if we refuse to if you need therapy or go and black people have this stigma I, I realize that a lot of black women and a few black men are going to therapy but in a number of countries there's still a stigma attached to therapy and going to therapy and going to get help but listen to me them same people are still gonna watch when something happens to you please ensure that if them not gonna there when you need them you're going to get, get get the help that you need you come first nobody else some of these people, when you're in the door moments, moments, you don't see them. So why are you considering them? So yeah, your yeah, mental health comes first. This is the last thing I think. Oh, lastly. Stop looking at a 9 to 5 in a negative light because everybody else is being an entrepreneur. Not being negative, but a lot of their businesses will fail because of the 
intentions behind their business a lot of these businesses are about making money even though today society persons are easily influenced it's better to start with your nine to five have your nine to five while you're doing your business or while you're going to school build on your nine to five before you jump on say okay i'm a full-time entrepreneur my full-time this or that Puss and dog don't have the same look. I mean, you know that already. I mean, you know what I mean. What happens with me might not happen for you. You might quit your job and end up blowing up in a month's time. And I might quit my job, God forbid. And it's two years, three years, four years, five years past. And I'm still there. I'm stagnant. My growth level is stagnant. And I realize, you know, maybe my 95 was supposed to teach me things that I'm not supposed to. Once it's providing me tool, you take your time and grow from there. You don't need to watch nobody. Everybody is going to have their opinion because human beings are opinionated. And they don't know when to shut their mouth. And yeah, you look at the fact that all right, if I quit the 95 that you're saying gives me $9,000 a week. Look at it this way. You see, anybody who make you want to quit the 95 Make sure they might get the $90,500 or the $9,000 end of the week. Because if you do that and them not give you nothing at the end of the week, then you're, you're just big and fool. Not the only word, they're big and fool. And then there's something with them giving you the money. There may be strings attached and there may be a level of authority that they feel like they need to put over you because this need to provide now. So, me up all talk, would me talk no dog back after that. So, you need to be able to weigh the pros and cons of everything that you're doing. Sometimes you might need a little help, sometimes you might need a little influence, sometimes you might need a little more discipline. But as I said, once you're alive, there's nothing that you cannot do. It might take more out of you than it does out of somebody else or than you like, but there's nothing that you cannot do. Yes, my chat too much don't. I have come to the end of my video. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe and share. If there are any points that you'd like me to elaborate on, whether they were in this video or your personal points, Please remember to leave the questions, comments, queries, answers in the comment section below. Please remember to like, subscribe and share. Thank you so much for watching.